Terrence Crawford, we've seen you put on a show every time you enter the ring. When an opponent doesn't engage and, and doesn't quite, uh, you know, go all in, is that frustrating for you? No, not really. You know, uh, tonight I thought I display, you know, uh, my boxing skills, you know, my jab, moving around. You know, it, it was an easy night. You know, I felt I won every round. You know, I felt I didn't have to do too much to win the fight, so it wasn't no need for me to, you know, engage like I did last fight. You said an easy night, but obviously you have higher dreams than Klimov. Is that something? I mean, how do, how do you adapt to that? How do you transition? Obviously started conventional and going into the southpaw, but, um, you know, what, what's your mentality? What, what's, what's your corner saying in your ear? Oh, no, I just felt that um, his jab was a little slow, and, you know, um, he was hopping back, so I was like, you know, I just throw my southpaw jab over his jab, and easy night, you know, he don't like to throw his right hand as much, so I just switch southpaw. And a win is a win, like we were saying off camera. Tim Bradley, you know, he knew that you were in for some success long before the rest of us. He's a brilliant man, isn't he? He sparred with you about a year ago, and he said, look, this guy is on to something. Um, what did you learn from him that you can really take down your road as, as you continue this journey? I learned a lot. You know, he's a very uh, crafty and ver veteran, skillful fighter. You know, we used to talk all the time, you know, when we spar at the Whereas when we going home, he'll tell me a little things, I'll tell him a little things, and we'll just try to put it together and make both of us better. And speaking of, look at this cap. He rolls out, you know, <laughs> the colonel was saying red, white, and blue, but really representing Nebraska with the cap here. But really, you're bringing boxing back to life in Omaha. Uh, pretty special there for you, huh? Oh, yeah. That's all we trying to do, you know, uh, come home and get us one there. Now, talk to me a little bit. You know, looking back at the past five, six months, you've taken advantage of every single opportunity seamlessly, like a pro, like a vet. But take me back to September 2008, when perhaps, you know, you, you had to make a lifestyle change. Take me through that journey and where you're at here, right here, right now, and how, how cool that is. Well, it's a blessing. You know, uh, as you know and you heard, you know, I got shot in 2008, you know, I if it wasn't for the grace of God, I might have not been here right now, you know. So I just cherish every moment that I'm here, you know, fighting to, you know, live up to my dreams. Terrence Crawford, everyone. Keep your eye on this guy. Nice work. Thank you. Molly Sullivan for TopRank.com. We'll see you next time.